Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The autumn session of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly began on Friday. On the first day of the session, the Judicial Inquiry report into the death of former HNLC leader Cherish Tafil Thankyu was laid on the House. The one-man commission of inquiry observed that the operation to arrest him at 3 a.m. in his residence was culpable of thoughtless and excessive use of force which resulted in his death that was avoidable. On the first day of the session, National Law University of Meghalaya Bill, Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Amendment Bill 2022 were also introduced for the consideration of the House. Protests broke out in Shillong soon after the Justice Waifei inquiry report on former HNLC General Secretary Cherish Tafil Thankyu's encounter death was tabled on the floor of the House during the first day of the autumn session on Friday. Surka Bri Hinyotrep, or the voice of the Hinyotrep people, started its protest at the Harrison Bridge Rilbong demanding justice. The former HNLC leader's encounter death last August had resulted in widespread protests and disruption, after which the Meghalaya government decided to constitute an inquiry. Moving on, Agnivir recruitment rally for Meghalaya and four districts of central Assam will be held from 14th to 25th September at Manikshaw Stadium 58 GTC, Maulandre Happy Valley, Shillong. According to the press release from the Office of the Wing Commander, PRO Defence, it stated that the candidates who had applied for the Agnipath have been allotted specific dates to appear for the rally. The entire recruitment process is automated and no person can influence the result of any candidate. In a major bust in recent times, police in Guwahati seized a huge consignment of suspected morphine believed to be worth around Rs 8 crores at Guwahati Railway Station on Friday. Two people have been taken into custody in connection with the major bust. The seized stash of drugs suspected to be morphine weigh a total of 2.042 kilograms and is believed to be worth around Rs 8 crores in the international market. Sources also informed that the consignment was being smuggled from Tinsukia to Guwahati when it was intercepted and seized. Three insurgents of the Prescribed People's Liberation Army, or PLA, with arms and ammunition were arrested in the Tengnopal district on Friday. According to an official report, based on specific input regarding the movement of PLA cadres between border pillar number 79 and 81, troops of Moray Battalion and the Manipur Police jointly launched an operation and arrested the insurgents from the general area of Jangnoi village in Moray. One AK series rifle, two 0.32 pistols and 14 live rounds were recovered from their possession. The Government of India will observe a day of mourning on September 11 in honour of Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom, who passed away on Thursday. According to a statement from the Ministry of Home Affairs, the national flag will be flown at half-mast on all buildings in India on the day of mourning. On that day, there won't be any official entertainment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday congratulated Olympic gold medalist javelin thrower Neeraj Chopra on winning the prestigious Diamond League Finals title. Chopra has become the first Indian to win the prestigious Diamond League Finals title in Zurich, Switzerland. He began with a foul but jumped to the top spot with a throw of 88.44 metres, his fourth career best in his second attempt, and that turned out to be his winning effort. He had 88.00 metres, 86.11 metres, 87.00 metres and 83.60 metres in his next four throws. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. Hub